That is the story on how Dushan and I met. Santa baby, slip all legs under the tree. Good morning, New York! <laughs> Nobody really heard me because there's so many people here. You can like scream. It's anyway so loud. Um, today is our second morning in New York City, and I'm actually dressed up today for a very simple reason. I will make sure to link my outfit below. Today started horribly. Like, it's probably one of the worst days of December so far. And let me tell you why. I woke up at seven. Phone call actually woke me up from Christina to let me know that we have like loads of problems in Europe that we have to deal with. I didn't even open my eyes properly. Had to deal with that. Then. I had like more problems with like, like basically I had like a massive fight with my boyfriend, then I had more problems at home, but I decided to dress up the best that I can today so that I can feel better and smile more and just direct all the thoughts that I have into the positive direction and to, into the fact that everything will work out so well because I'm not gonna let anything, anything, anything now ruin this mood, right? How are you feeling today, Dush? Great! My morning started like <laughs> so amazing also. Pretty much kind of same type of vibe for Dushan. His, every single program on his computer is um, crashing. But you know what? These are not complaints because can you see this on my face? It's a smile. Because um, we're not gonna let any obstacle get in the way of our mood, of our productivity, and of our success. Give me a high five. Yes. We just arrived to the rooftop of our hotel, which is Park World in New York. Um, and it's so stunning because there's like a bar and it's a really, really cool area. So like a lounge area sort of thing with a view. And the view is like, there's Empire State Building the view and just in general, New York, which is stunning. I'm probably, uh, I don't know if I'm too sunny or too shady or something, but we are now on this beautiful terrace where we're gonna take some pictures. She works the by the water. She is gonna stay so far away from her father's daughter. She is once a light I'm for a baby All on her own No one will come She's got to save him You run goodbye, baby Aren't you cry? Somebody's got you run goodbye, baby Run goodbye I'm gonna rock you Run goodbye, baby Aren't you cry? For all the boys We're now at Flat Iron Plaza As you can see I've changed my outfit so I'm very cozy and warm now. Um, it's quite cold even though it's sunny, right? Yeah. But we went out to take some pictures, to get some food, and also today we need to change our hotels. It's gonna be very eventful. I don't know why I look like this, probably because the whole day is like fabulous. Um, but we need to pack again. I've told you just before at Flatiron that we're leaving today this hotel. We're changing to a different hotel, like sort of like 15 streets uptown that way um and yeah basically we are just gonna pack up now this crazy mess which we created in only two nights so as always we have special talent for this i mean we have all together five suitcases so i guess otherwise it's impossible i haven't eaten eaten any food yet today and it's already one so having this i don't know if you can see it Probably not, but it's like a bowl of fruits. Oh, everything is in focus, Dushane, except from this. Can you believe it? Look. I'm in focus. Yeah, basically. Nobody right. can do it like we do. Like, Look honestly, it. this is just Nobody. ridiculous. We're professional. Fast internet. If any of you know like good and cute kind of 
fast internet cafes in New York, please leave it in the comments below because we're always in desperate need for those. Right now, looking to eat some food and buy Chloe because I love that place so much and so does Dushan. I changed, yet it's so cold and it's not even cold, it's like 10 degrees, 10 degrees, but I'm actually very much enjoying in New York with cold because I cannot complain. No, actually like, I don't really mind it to be honest, like I'm warm and cozy. It's I'm better to, to be frozen in New York than so in, true. In some. Then, so true. And I'm burning loud Turn up, nigga, never turn it down Oh, you see my back, let me turn around So you can see the face of someone who earned a crown Young king of that urban sound Upscale club or urban lounge Same motherfuckers that didn't let us in last year All want to serve us now Cause we make it more than a but we ignore Hey guys, we are back in my Chloe distribution um, once a I already had like a little, um, a bit of food in the cafe that we were at before So now I'm just stealing some of this sweet potato fries it is so spicy. I love it. No wonder you get like so like breathing lips afterwards. Mm. I really want to tell them a story about how you and I met in today's vlog. When should we do it? Maybe later in the show. What do you think? Yeah. I think we have to. Tell Sorry, guys. I need to. Eat. Are you hungry? Is it good? Yeah. I have no appetite today in general. Also, also. This is Dushan's modest order. A portion of sweet potato fries, avocado toast, I think there were two but he already ate one, and a guaca burger which is vegan. That's a starter. I have no appetite, I don't know why, but it's like a kind of one of those days. Um, so today I had like an omelette with some truffle goat cheese and now I'm just stealing some of his sweet potato fries. It's past 3 o'clock. I'm not very hungry because, I don't know, like maybe I'll get hungry in the evening, but uh, maybe it's just, I don't know, the hectic lifestyle. Do you think it's the hectic lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is Catherine. We just met her in New York at Bicol. This is our favorite place, by the way, in New York. Is it your favorite as well? I, I work right down the street. Amazing. Are you vegan? Are you vegan or you just like it? I just like it. Like me. Okay, I have to say, and never had more people approach us to say hi than during this Vlogmas and it makes me so happy because it's kind of like I feel like I know you guys I just had like the chat with Catherine and she's so nice and it just makes so much sense to kind of like I don't know run into you guys on the streets like of New York or in Austria or at the airport and I don't always want to film you guys because I sometimes think like what if they're not comfortable with it you know you never know who's gonna be comfortable and who's not gonna be comfortable with camera so I obviously asked Cameron before um, and it was just so nice to meet you guys and it, like honestly I just told Dushan like oh my god I cannot believe there is someone that watches our videos in New York but like stats show me that there's a lot of people from New York but you know I just like never can believe that these people actually are there on the street so it's really amazing okay while well, we're still at by Chloe and since I'm not eating I'm gonna be productive and show you a little what's in my bag video now this is one like if you've never seen it before, here's the Dior book tote. Mine is a monogram burgundy color. And just look at this. Inside, there's another bag. And it is the Fendi Peekaboo because we are moving hotels. There is a laptop over here, if you can see that. And then there's basically a bottomless amount of GoPros, cables, card holder, American electricity adapter. This thingy bob, like a suction y thing that you can put on the window when filming with GoPro. Then the GoPro with the kind of stabilizer. Then inside of here, there's another phone over there. Basically, you cannot even imagine how much does this bag weigh. There's another laptop here as well. This one I use for editing pictures and this one I use for editing videos, very important. Um, there's my wallet here as well. I have, I think it's called Josephine uh, with pink ballerina lining. And yeah, basically a ton of stuff. We made it to our next hotel, but the amount of bags we have, you guys, are always the challenge, so 
just getting everything hello. out of Hello, how are you? You're welcome to the Kabaka. So happy to be here. Thank you. Amazing. Yay! This looks so nice. So excited. And look where it is. Thank you so much. See you on Thursday. Bye. Let's get these bags. Welcome to my new room at the Knickerbocker Hotel, which is located perfectly in Times Square. Am I a good presenter? Yes. <laughs> I actually love this room. It's like so kind of how I like it. The bathroom is like white and marble with this is the diptyque um lotion i love diptyque so much i love this like white marble so much it's so nice we have the shower and the bathroom here while the toilet and then our bags have already arrived i'm gonna have to move them because we like to have a full length mirror free for the outfit shots and for what else for actually looking what we look like right yes yeah. so when you get to the room this is what we get the comfy bed and the lounge area and what else you might think now look at this view do like wow, wow. oh my what god the? this is insane like literally insane i'm so excited to spend more time here guys we're just in h&m right now and i ran into Teddy, uh, I'm sorry. I know you're gonna hate me, but yeah, we met them. Sorry. This is like such a coincidence. You guys are so cute. Did you arrive? When did you arrive from Canada? Uh, two days ago. Yesterday was our first day. Yeah. Yeah. And where in Canada do you live? Uh, near Toronto. Oh my God! I almost moved to Canada when I was really young, but it didn't happen. Yeah. Are you watching our vlogmases? Uh, my sister is. Yeah, yeah she just told us to see yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then I follow more your Instagram. My Instagram, do you like yeah, it? I love it. <laughs> you know, I said it already today, but I get so happy when I like meet any of my viewers, followers, Instagram followers, no matter where you follow me. Like, if you say hi to me, I always stay for a few minutes and chat to my subscribers or followers because it's like the best thing ever meeting you guys. The thing about Times Square is that I don't need that light of mine. Everything yeah. is already so well lit up. Um, we got dressed up, kind of. Not dressed up, just, you know, changed. I'm wearing Charlotte Tilbury pillow top on my lips. Sorry about my manicure, I need to get it done somewhere in New York. I just want to like walk and get it to like get inspired. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and enjoy Times Square a little bit and take some pictures and find coffee and get inspired. Okay, right now we are on these famous stairs at Times Square that you've probably seen so many times on like pictures and movies, etc. We're staring. In front of us there's that bowl that drops at midnight on New Year's Eve. Look at this. Over there where it says 2018, there's like a ball which drops at midnight on New Year's Eve and that's where it is. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not because it's kind of small. Um, but yeah, this place is like almost like it's daylight because of all of these adverts. It's incredible. All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do is be right there for you. Be right there with you. All I wanna do, all I wanna do, all I wanna do is be right there for you. Be right next to you. Wait a minute. the hotel as you can see you're barefoot um we promised that we we're gonna tell you the story how we met so now you're gonna get the story from my kind of point of view and from Dushan's point of view I think that you're pretty different yeah I think so too yeah <laughs> who's gonna tell first well I can start if you, you want. start it was February 2017. January 2017, when they, when the people from uh, Fashion Mood magazine told me they want to shoot some Tamara Karnic. I knew of Tamara before, but we didn't know each other. 
and they, as I can remember, they tried to reach yeah. to you, but she didn't respond. Responded. So they tell me, do you want to text her, maybe on Instagram or somewhere, to try? And I was like, okay, I will try to text that big Tamara I who didn't respond. That in my life. And I was like, um, send message to her, like, hi Tamara, I'm Dushan from. Uh, Serbia! <laughs> From Serbia! Uh, I, uh, the fashion wood magazine wants to contact you about uh, the cover and editorial. Mm -hmm. I'm a photographer there. So, uh, when, when you see that, like, yeah, answer me, back. Get, yeah. get back or something. And she didn't get answer. You mean, you didn't get the answer. Yeah, yeah I didn't get the answer. So, uh, like, after a few weeks, somehow we managed to to keep in touch with her. Okay, let me tell you that part of my story now. Okay. Just that part. Okay. So, uh, it was going to be coming close to Fashion Month and with my, like, I at the moment I didn't really have like such a team that helps me with everything. I had an agency that helped me, but I was pretty stressed because Fashion Month was coming, there was so much work to do, so I was getting ready to do Fashion Weeks. I never saw any of the messages or emails about doing any kind of fashion editorials for the Fashion Mood magazine ever until one day I was sitting at lunch and I saw on Twitter message from the stylist of the magazine who's also kind of a friend of both of us, Vanya. Hi Vanya. Who, hi Vanya. She probably doesn't watch our videos. She's probably somewhere she with her cats. <laughs> um, so she messaged me being like, oh my god, like something funny kind of like... Um, uh, it's easier to reach to the president than to you, yeah, something yeah. like that. And I was like, what? So on Twitter, you can reach me anytime because I have like zero followers there. I mean, I have like 15,000 followers there and I always answer to all of my messages on Twitter and I see everything. So I immediately saw that and I got back to her being like, what's happening? And then she got in touch with me, asking me if I want to do a photo shoot. And I have to say I was in two minds just because Fashion Week is so, so, so busy for me that squeezing in like a full editorial for like six or seven pages that she wanted to do sounded like I was scared that I'm not going to be able to deliver. But I said yes. And in February we flew to, to Milan. Vanya, Snežana and uh, Snežana is the makeup artist. And maybe two days later we had photo shoots. Yeah, we met. We met. And she was going on my nerves so freaking much. But you anyway hated me from before. No, 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 no. Wait, stop. Hate is like a big word. I was annoying you, but you never even knew No, no, me. I never had some amazing... Opinion. Opinion about you. I didn't hate you. Okay. But, but you I... thought that was like really annoying. Well, I thought, I think, <laughs> so, uh, so, basically we, we shot that day, she was okay, she was okay, uh, she has like, uh, she, she was under such pressure because of the fashion week and everything, and she was like, uh, hurry up, we need that, oh, I, here I arranged my bags, here I arranged my, uh, uh, T-shirts, uh, accessories, here's my dress, it's the autumn. And it's like, okay, we get it. The shoot was fine. Look what you've done. You're a pretty little star boy. Look what you've done. You're a pretty little star boy. The cover? No, the, no, that was the next day. Okay, so we shoot that day, and the next day we met again to shoot more, more pictures because we have man, uh, we they didn't manage, yeah. manage to, to to shoot everything first day, and basically the cover was shot in one hotel when we like uh, had a coffee. Yeah. And I was like, wait, this angle and the light is amazing. Stop, and I shot the, the cover. Which we will insert now. Now, okay. <laughs> And basically after we flew back home and maybe w like a week after. Yeah. Like well, a week after. Not even a week. Not even a week. She texted me like, 
Hey, do you want to go to Paris with me? And I was like, what? Uh, and jokes aside, after Paris, uh, we get to know each other a little bit better. Yeah. And since then, we're working. My side of the story. So I agreed on this photo shoot in Milan. And when the day came, I already regretted it because it was the day of Fendi show of like I think it was like a pain show that day and several other shows that I got really like stressed about the fact that I'm gonna have like these like three people um, kind of following me and I'm not gonna be able to get them into the shows because you can't get like five people into the show so anyway I also had like one person helping me um with me so i had these three other people and the driver and we couldn't fit in one car so i was thinking how are we gonna do this you know like logistically there's like six of us to go from place to place it didn't work out so the meeting point was at nine o'clock at my hotel and guess what it was 10 o'clock and they still haven't arrived to my hotel well that wasn't my fault i mean from the professional side of you, I don't care. You weren't there and you were one hour late. For me, that's like one hour late in business agreement. You see what I'm talking about. It's for me she so was like that. unprofessional. She was but like anyway, that day. You guys were like, okay, there's so much traffic, whatever. And I was like, the show is at like 11, you know, so you need to shoot me. And, and you were like, oh, we're going to do your makeup and everything. So I was like, well, you know, it's kind of difficult now. So anything, everything was fine. When they arrived, I was like, okay, let's do the quick makeup and we need to shoot and we need to make it to the Fendi show. So I was a little bit control freak side out of me. I, I like everything to be punctual. I like to be on time. I like things to kind of be how they should. So there's like this friend of mine arrived. I really like her. She's super nice. And then Dushan arrived and the makeup artist was also lovely. But Dushan was very lost and confused. He was like taking pictures of my bags in the room. Like I didn't have any opinion of him at the time. And then they kind of had some fights between them. You guys were kind of not having fights between you, but there was a bit really? of like a weird I tension. Don't remember. I don't remember that. Basically, um, yeah, you guys told me I say a lot, basically, but sorry. Uh, basically, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened is that we only had time to take like one or two pictures outside of the hotel. And we went downstairs and Dushan was going to take pictures of me and he was so bossy. He was like... Um, move faster look to the left not that leg the other leg and i was like who does this child think he is i was like this kid should just like stop it because he's so annoying and he sent me the picture and for some reason i, I didn't like it it was not my colors it was not it was not my vibe but i was like i don't care it's not going on my instagram it's just for the magazine take it easy with the styling <laughs> so anyway we went to the Fendi show and after the Fendi show there was like huge like crowd of people and I couldn't find them but I found him because he was like standing by the door like waiting for me to come out so I was like okay this guy might not be that bad because at least he's like trying to be responsible and always like to be reachable then we went to Armando Sherino showroom for a fitting for me to choose the dress for um, the show and he took some pictures of me there like it was not a very picturesque place and he was like oh no I'm gonna show it to you when I edit it but he already showed it to me on the camera and it was like okay like it wasn't a good picture you know and whatever anyway that evening we went to another show together I got him in to the show so he can take some pictures there and he was so good because he was like not in the way he wasn't like asking me where to sit or how to act he was just like shadowing but not in an annoying way so he was like professional you know he wasn't a burden because sometimes people can be like they arrive and they're like where do i sit and i'm like you know like you need to kind of get around like you need to kind of like if i get you in it doesn't mean i can also arrange your seat sort of thing you know what I mean? I know. So, what happened then? <laughs> At night, I got home and he sent me the message from the Arano Sherino uh, showroom picture. He sent me the message. He was like, here is the edited picture. And I was like, wow, the boy is good. So the first picture I hated, but the second one I really liked. He did a really the good job. The picture was amazing, but she hated it because... It was not her style the first and her one, colors. Yeah, it wasn't like my style. But the, the second picture, I was like, wow. So really loved it. And that when I saw that, I was like, okay, 
this is not actually that bad the next day we shot and we had that coffee Vanya you and me and we just had a chat and you were nice you were a bit more relaxed around me you weren't so bossy you weren't like give me this give me that do this no not like that like this you were like more relaxed so I was like okay we kind of have a good vibe going on shooting we said goodbye and then the next day I think I flew back to London and then to Paris so five days later I was in Paris I needed a lot of content in Paris I was alone I didn't have anybody helping me and I was like I really need help I was like let me text this photographer guy and ask him if he would be willing to come and help me shoot so I texted him and he was like yes sure like I'm coming like of course I think it was like Tuesday and you were coming on Thursday or like or it was like Saturday that I asked you and you were coming on Tuesday but it was like in two days time and that was it basically I had like a huge suite um, so there were like two bedrooms in there which I thought already was gonna be awkward like even being in like a huge room together uh, because we weren't friends at the time but then he arrived and I kind of like offered him like a business sort of deal like if he wants to, sh like it was very professional. Like yeah, it wasn't it was like fun. we're friends. It was like, okay, so this, and we were shooting for like two days in Paris. We had loads of content. And after that, we just continued kind of working together and traveling together. And we went to many places together. But now we're also friends, which I think is important. But at first we both thought the other one was kind no, of annoying. Not. That is the story on how Dushan and I met. We both thought we were very annoying. We still think we're both okay. each other annoying. Okay. And we still have so many fights every day. But we kind of have a good balance, right? Well, we spent like... Too much time together. This month, like too much, 24 hours, guys. Yeah. Like in, in the same room, in the same space, in the same like airplane, airport, everywhere. So I think we're good for that amount of yes considering time. how much time we spend together we don't fight i would probably not be able to do this with a lot of people also but yeah and we also help each other when i'm down he, he makes me laugh and when he's upset i make him laugh so i think that's quite important uh. and also when i am happy you make me sad no I'm joking that's it guys this video is already long enough i love you loads same place same time tomorrow don't forget to watch because there's not that many vlogmases left sleep tight and don't let the bad bugs bite wow you're getting better and better every time bye guys don't punch me